Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. F Dash here with F Dash TV. And we've got some more card monsters. Today we're doing a card spotlight on snail mail. So Aldo beat me to this uh, by like a week, week and a half. But uh, snail mail is awesome. Uh, he's a unique card in the sense that he does not attack. So by not attacking, obviously he doesn't do direct damage, but he does do thorn damage. Thorns are cool. So this is him at his full max level five. So he's got three thorns. So whenever he's hit by a melee attack, he deals true damage to the attacker and he will always damage the armor first. So as a great counter to anyone who has flight, uh, snail mail doesn't care if you fly. Snail Man doesn't care if you bring out a wolf spider and entangle him because he doesn't attack anyway. So it's really, really great. I started using Snail Mail specifically to counter uh, Flight, so Blue Dragon. And it works out wonderfully, you know. Um, and then when they inevitably bring out their wolf spiders, it doesn't matter because Snail Mail doesn't care if he's entangled because he doesn't attack so it, wolf spider is completely negated um, and especially if they don't have armor because they won't do any damage uh, to my uh, to my snail mail here actually will they two four no so they won't do any damage to snail mail so it's 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 a fantastic card the biggest weakness uh, as with any uh, card with thorns magic so magic is gonna gonna tear this card up it only has six HP, as you can see. So you're gonna want to bring along bracers or um, that shrieking to, you know, take away magic. Even a captain shield is what I, you know, what I currently have now. So as you can see, he's got two physical shield, and he's got enchanted armor. Uh, so this is really, really good with obviously armors that increase um, your physical. Resistance, uh, which we'll talk about, because the, the what really makes Snail Mail great is not necessarily that he's so good by himself, but all the armors that he can wear that make him even better. First up, let's look at his upgrade tree here. So as you can see, he is maxed out at level five. He's got six health, three thorns, two physical resistance, and two shield up. So um, enchanted shield. He has a couple more levels to go. So at level eight. He'll have seven health, and then three thorns, so that won't change. Three physical resistance, which is pretty huge, and then three uh, enchanted armor. So it's gonna be pretty nice when he's uh, fully maxed out there at level eight. So what makes him so good? Uh, it's gonna be all the different armors that he can wear. Um, and I think I have most of them here. So like I said, bracers. Uh, to deal with magic are going to be really, really good for him. Uh, if you don't have bracers, I would include maybe a, uh, a captain shield or the Shrieken. Um, am I saying that correctly? Uh, let me show you what item I'm talking about. It's an item. It's a it's a flash card. Oh, here I actually don't have one, but it's going to be. I think it's a legendary. So you can see what the one I'm talking about. I think I'm saying it right, Shrieking. No, oh, I'm sorry, Craft. Uh, yes, this bad boy ring. Yeah, Shrieking. So uh, this card uh, has Silence in it. So Silence, uh, they can't use Heal or Magic Attack. So that this, if you don't have this one, the, obviously the much, much cheaper option is going to be just to use Bracers. So Bracers. So those are going to be helpful. Um, this one, I just got it, and I mainly use it just to switch around uh, different enemies. I don't necessarily use it for him. I use it more for my rock monster. But I suppose you could throw it on him uh, if you wanted to. I'm not, if you, like, if it throws out a, uh, it's got a wolf spider on the side, and you switch the wolf spider to the middle, and it's not really going to do anything. Um, but, you know, maybe if you have your, your side, side units there. Rock armor. So this one's good because it increases his physical resistance. So remember, he has two, so it's gonna go up by one with this rock armor. 
In addition to that, this one has six armor, so it's going to go up by two with his uh, enchanted armor. And this is maxed out for its current level. But as you can see, it's going to go up to eight two, so that's going to be huge at, um, at level eight or level five, it looks like. So rock armor works really, really well with him. And then, of course, to add to his thorn damage, plague armor. So plank armors have a whole bunch of stats here, as you can see. So it does poison. Poison's great, um, especially against like uh, somebody who has inspire or who is trying to inspire, like succubus. So this will this will disease them, where they lose inspire, shoot command, demoralize, and magic reflect. And then it adds three thorn damage which is awesome. So that gives him a total of six thorn damage. So that's that's pretty nasty. And I have two of them, so in this particular deck here, I have both of them equipped. Um, we don't need to, well, this one, this one was only here just because it's blue, but it wasn't really for him. It was more for uh, the fairy. And then this, this is probably one of his best armors, to be honest, and it's a shield. And you see it's super cheap, it just only costs two. Now, it does only have two armor, but that's okay because it has two physical resistance. So remember, he already has two. So this is gonna boost it all the way up to four. Now, other than a blue dragon, there's not many monsters that can do more than four damage without an equip. So this is almost gonna negate everybody to, uh, if, you're not, if they're not gonna use equipment, it's, it's gonna hurt them a lot more than it hurts you. And then for blue dragons, if they don't have any more equipment, uh, they're only gonna do one damage and they're gonna get three in return. So this is definitely a really, really good one for snail mail, for sure. So let's go look. Um, a few days ago, I had the absolutely quintessential match to display the abilities here of, of uh, snail mail. Disregard all these losses here. I had a really bad weekend. <laughs> here it is against Marvington Brown. Okay, so Marvington had a deck strength of three two eight five, and the deck I was using uh, was three four three zero. So it's got uh, two Jerpips, it's got a Quetzal, it's got my Void, it's got Banner Parrot. It has Rock Monster and then Snail Mail. Going up against, um, he's got. A big boned, he's got a zombie, succubus, blue dragon, red dragon, camicorn, muscle art, and then a void element. So he's got it's, it's full stacked here. So let's go ahead and watch this match here. And it's just it's the perfect match. I've never had a more perfect match, probably, than this particular match uh, to show off snail mail. So let's go ahead and look at this one. So he's on the top, I'm on the bottom. Let's go. All right, so as always, we're going to knock away our void element because that's how you always start a match. So he takes care of his Camicorn there. It's going to throw out. See, I, and I love especially going up against a red dragon, especially with no equips because he can't do anything. So I throw out a drip it because he only costs one and I need to see if there's a better monster behind him. And there is, it's snail mail. And I can use my shield, so I'm not gonna be able to get hurt here. So he's not gonna do any damage, and that's okay. It's perfectly fine. So he's debating here, okay, what do I do, what do I do? He does have that uh, dagger there, which he, I do believe he uses, yes. Uh, still though, I do have one, and that's more than enough to deal with uh, with either of these two. So he throws out a Zombo just mainly so he can attack my Jerpip there. And that's, you know, that's fine. I have no uh, no issues with that. So do I throw out the Banner Parrot or throw out Quetzal? I'm gonna go ahead and go with the Banner Parrot so I can do at least some damage to the Red Dragon by the time he comes back. So I'll do two there, two here. And then Zombo is going to die next, next turn because he can't do any damage to me and he's gonna take three in return. So that means he's not going to be able to get off his double attacks, but they're pretty good for um, both of my monsters there. He throws in a Void Element, interestingly enough, and sacks his uh, his axe there. So Void's going to get hit, 
for three. Zombo's gonna get hit for three. And Zombo's gonna go away. So we're back to Red Dragon. Kind of a silly move there. So he's dead. He's gonna take two more damage here. All right, so he can bring out his Red Dragon, and he does. So Red Dragon can do one damage. Uh, he's gonna throw out the knife. Who's he gonna hit with the knife? All right, so he hits this guy with the knife, and you know what, that's cool, that's whatever. So he does three damage there. He's gonna get three in return. Check out what I have, though. I have a plague armor. And I have a knife, too. Um, I don't think I used the knife, though. Because I can do, yeah, because I can already do six damage. So that one blocked it, so that's okay. Red Dragon's dead now. And in this next one, he's gonna die. Unless he has equipped. So this, this person, too, didn't... He could have used his own equipment, but he chose to use a... Uh, a succubus instead for that extra inspire damage. I'm not sure I would have done that. I mean, as you can see, he does have the muscalard and the uh, and the zombo left, so I'm guessing that's where he was going with it. So she's gonna die though. She's gonna do six damage, but she will take uh, death here, and then he's gonna go ahead and break this armor, and that's okay because he's also gonna die. So now I'm gonna equip this here. This is a rock armor. Now if he throws out the Zombo, not Zombo, but the Big Boned, then of course uh, he, but see, he's running. I think he could have kept going, to be honest. I really do think he could have kept going. Because um, he could have switched around the lineup there. So, not quite sure why he decided to end it there, but he did. He did. Uh, there was another match that was really good. I just don't remember which one it was. Oh, actually, it was against the same guy. Uh, so it's this last one here. So let's watch this one. This one's interesting because, um, as you can see, he won the first one. I won the won this one. He said I got to do a rubber match. This one's interesting because you'll see a section here where I decide not to play anything at all for a while, and I just leave uh, Snail Mail there to do to do what he does best and you know soak up damage. So we start off with Quetzal here, and. That's all I can do, so I just leave him there. He does have flight, so he's kind of okay. He's got, uh, of course, the staples in everyone's deck. He's got the wolf spider going. I do believe he, he ends up just leaving the wolf spider there. So just wolf spider against... Oh, no, never mind. He does bring out the muscular spider. Oh, yeah, they do actually kill... No, he didn't. Okay, good. So, at this point, I can bring on my, my uh, rock monster, but I choose not to. Instead, I bring out Banner Parrot, so I can go ahead and one-shot kill this guy, and then do some damage here and there, so they're done. So see, that's why I like Jerpips, because, I mean, look how much damage you already have on the screen, you know? That's 11 damage, so that's pretty good. And he has 6 health, so he can kind of absorb stuff. Alright, so here's a great, fantastic, unbelievably fantastic counter to Snail Mail. And that's going to be random damage. Uh, Snail Mode can't do a damn thing against random damage. Uh, that sucks really, really bad. So, And see, almost every single time I've ever faced a Chaos Dragon, he does like absurd damage. He does 4 to 6 almost every time. So I, I don't know. So I do bring him out, and I do use um, Plague Armor. So that guy's going to die over there. So he's dead. But unfortunately, I couldn't hit the Chaos Dragon, who is the real pain in the ass in this. Um, at this point, Zombo will die if he hits me without any armor on. It would be silly to do that, right? But we'll see what he decides to do. Banner Parrot, by the way, is a fantastic, fantastic uh, animal card there. I do love my Banner Parrot. What is he going to do? He can still put his armor on. And he does. All right, good. So he does He does put the armor on. So look at that. Five. I swear to God. So he's going to get six damage here. He only does one to me. So that armor's gone. But he's going to do three over there. So at this point, if I bring out my Durpip, uh, he's going to die from that double strike damage, right? So I don't want that to happen. So for the next uh, good number of turns, I'm not going to bring anyone out because of the double strike. Like, I don't want my animals to die from this double strike. Um, and I know full well that 
Chaos Dragon is going to hit me for a bunch of damage every single time, and it's so annoying. So I just decide to ride out uh, the next couple turns. Uh, and really, the reason I do this is because I want him to waste as much... You see that? Five. This guy's crazy. I want him to waste as much damage as... Or not... I want him to waste as much armor as possible. Because I know, I know, you know, even without looking, I, I mean, obviously I can't see his cards when I'm battling, but I knew he had a blue dragon in his deck. Uh, mainly because I had already faced him. But I knew he had a blue dragon in his deck, and I wanted him to have no more armor for his... For his blue dragon uh that was really where i was going with this so because i felt that was going to be a good idea so see here's the he's deciding what do i use because um he's he doesn't want to take damage with his zombo i get that but he can't do any damage to me so really the only person that can do damage is the chaos dragon um and i'm fully aware of this um chaos dragon is horrible see i think he should have kept that one but he decided to to break it um, last time he, he beat me because he gave it to, he gave that, uh, the Obsidian or Obsidian Spear to Chaos Dragon and that really wrecked me, but he didn't do that this time, which I think was where he messed up. So you see, I just keep going. He has to decide here, what do I do? What do I do? Because he also has to keep in the back of his mind that he does also have a Blue Dragon, but he, well, you know, you don't never want to leave your Blue Dragon out there alone, bare, without any armor. That's that's a death sentence, especially against a snail mail, because you're going to take damage no matter what. So he does end up finally giving him an, uh, a weapon, but he can't use it because he doesn't have reach on it. So that was very silly of him. Another three damage there. So at this point, what am I going to do? I'm going to go ahead and go with my captain's shield. I understand he doesn't have magic damage, but I needed, uh, I needed shield, mainly so that Zombo would die. So again, the reason I'm not throwing anyone out is because they would die from the double strike damage in, in two turns. And that's just, that's absurd. So I need them for later. And I'm waiting for the perfect time, uh, which is going to come up because he only has two, two armors left and he's wearing one of them, right? So that's a uh, five damage there, four damage there. Luckily for me, I have a ton, a ton of armor. So at this point, he's only got three health. So I'm like, all right, I can kill him. Um, automatically, like I know I can. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring out Rock Monster and Jerpip. And then I go ahead and take him out with the Ceremonial Knife, mainly because I hate uh, this card here and I really want him to go away. So I gave him the Commander Banner. So that's three damage there, five damage here, and luckily Flight did not proc, so he was dead. Now he can bring out both his Blue Dragon and his Muscular. But at this point, it's it's a little too, little too late, to be honest because he, he ended up using all of his armor. So they are gonna both hit me here for quite a bit of damage, but I've got some of that physical resistance. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use, uh, exactly, my armor of darkness, switch them up there, and this one's done. It's done. So he's gonna take some damage here. He's gonna take some damage there. Two more there. Of course, flight's gonna proc. It's okay though. So three damage there, it's okay. I'm not sad about it. Hopefully this hits with four, or I'm sorry, three. It does take three, he takes five, plus two. Nope, flight proc, that's okay, it's okay. So at this point he does have, he can use his armor, but he chooses not to for some strange reason. Not quite sure what he was thinking there. Um, I gave him my last armor, and three damage here is gonna go ahead and end the battle. So that's another thing I do like to do. I don't know why he didn't use that last armor. Um, just, you know, sometimes you just gotta wait, you know? I've, I've had matches where I've gone into uh, death mode just because of how long I've waited for the perfect opportunity to, you know, to switch around and, you know, do some new things with Snail Mail. But Snail Mail is awesome. Uh, one of my favorite cards in the game. So if you haven't used Snail Mail or if you've ever, ever wanted to know what Snail Mail was about, uh, this was the video for you. So um, let me know in the comments what you think of snail mail or if there's any other armors out there that you think would work better with snail mail. I'm always looking to improve. But I want to thank you guys uh, so much for watching. If you have not yet, please subscribe so you can get notified when I upload new videos. There will be another one this week as well, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, but again, thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on F-TV.